Rubus chamomorus is a rhizomatous herb native to cool temperate regions, alpine and arctic tundra and boreal forest, producing amber-colored edible fruit similar to the raspberry or blackberry. English common names include cloudberry, Nordic berry, baycapple in Newfoundland and Labrador, knotberry and knoutberry in England, acupic or low bush salmonberry in Alaska, not to be confused with true salmonberry, Rubus spectabilis, and Avron or Evron in Scotland. Topic. Description Unlike most rubus species, the cloudberry is dioecious, and fruit production by a female plant requires pollination from a male plant. The cloudberry grows to 10 to 25 cm high. The leaves alternate between having five and seven soft, hand like lobes on straight, branchless stalks. After pollination, the white sometimes reddish tipped flowers form raspberry-sized aggregate fruits which are more plentiful in wooded rather than sun-exposed habitats. Consisting of between 5 and 25 druplets, each fruit is initially pale red, ripening into an amber color in early autumn. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Distribution and Ecology. Cloudberries are a circumpolar boreal plant, occurring naturally throughout the northern hemisphere from 78 degrees north, south to about 55 degrees north, and are scattered south to 44 degrees north mainly in mountainous areas and moorlands. In Europe, they grow in the Nordic countries, Baltic states and particularly in Poland. They occur across northern Russia east towards the Pacific Ocean as far south as Japan. Due to peatland drainage and peat exploitation, they are considered endangered and are under legal protection in Germany's Weser and Elbe valleys, and at isolated sites in the English Pennines and Scottish Highlands. A single, fragile site exists in the Spurn Mountains of Northern Ireland. In North America, cloudberries grow wild across Greenland, most of northern Canada, Alaska, northern Minnesota, New Hampshire, Maine, and New York. Wide distribution occurs due to the excretion of the indigestible seeds by birds and mammals. Further distribution arises through its rhizomes which are up to 10 meters long and grow about 10 to 15 centimeters below the soil surface, developing extensive and dense berry patches. Cuttings of these taken in May or August are successful in producing a genetic clone of the parent plant. The cloudberry grows in bogs, marshes, wet meadows, tundra and altitudes of 1,400 meters 4, feet above sea level in Norway, requiring acidic ground between 3.5 and 5 picohenries. Cloudberry leaves are food for caterpillars of several Lepidoptera species. The moth Coleophora thulia has no other known food plants. See also list of Lepidoptera that feed on rubus. Cultivation Despite great demand as a delicacy particularly in Sweden, Norway and Finland the cloudberry is not widely cultivated and is primarily a wild plant. Wholesale prices vary widely based on the size of the yearly harvest, but cloudberries have gone for as much as 10 euros per kilogram in 2004, since the middle of the 1990s, however, the species has formed part of a multinational research project. Beginning in 2002, selected cultivars have been available to farmers, notably Apolto male, Fjellgull female, and Fjordgull female. The cloudberry can be cultivated in Arctic areas where few other crops are possible, for example along the northern coast of Norway. Uses The ripe fruits are golden yellow, soft and juicy, and are rich in vitamin C when eaten fresh. Cloudberries have a distinctive tart taste. When overripe, they have a creamy texture somewhat like yogurt and a sweetened flavor. They are often made into jams, juices, tarts, and liqueurs. In Finland, the berries are eaten with heated lipajusto, a local cheese. The name translates to bread cheese, as well as cream and sugar. In Sweden, cloudberries and cloudberry jam are used as a topping for ice cream, pancakes, and waffles. In Norway, they are often mixed with whipped cream and sugar to be served as a dessert called multekrum cloudberry cream, as a jam or as an ingredient in homemade ice cream. Cloudberry yogurt — multe or multiyogurt — is a supermarket item in Norway. In Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, cloudberries are used to make bakeapple pie or jam. 
Arctic yuppik mix the berries with seal oil, reindeer or caribou fat which is diced and made fluffy with seal oil and sugar to make Eskimo ice cream or a kutok. The recipes vary by region. Along the Yukon and Kuskokwim River areas, white fish pike along with shortening and sugar are used. The berries are an important traditional food resource for the yuppik. Due to its high vitamin C content, the berry is valued both by Nordic seafarers and northern indigenous peoples. Its polyphenol content, including flavonoid compounds such as ellagic acid, appears to naturally preserve food preparations of the berries. Cloudberries can be preserved in their own juice without added sugar, if stored cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alcoholic drinks In Nordic countries, traditional liqueurs such as lakalikori Finland are made of cloudberry, having a strong taste and high sugar content. Cloudberry is used as a flavoring for making aquawit. In northeastern Quebec, a cloudberry liqueur known as chikoutai aboriginal name is made. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Nutrients and phytochemicals. Cloudberries are rich in vitamin C and ellagic acid, citric acid, malic acid, alpha tocopherol, anthocyanins, and the provitamin A carotenoid, beta carotene, in contents which differ across regions of Finland due to sunlight exposure, rainfall, or temperature. The ellagitannins lambertinin C and sanguin H6 are also present. Genotype of cloudberry variants may also affect polyphenol composition, particularly for elagitanins, sanguine H6, anthocyanins, and quercetin. Polyphenol extracts from cloudberries have improved storage properties when microencapsulated using maltodextrin DE5 8. At least 14 volatile compounds, including vanillin, account for the aroma of cloudberries. Cultural references The cloudberry appears on the Finnish version of the two euro coin. The name of the hill Bean Nan Oikraig in Bredalbane in the Scottish Highlands means, Hill of the Cloudberries, in Scottish Gaelic. <laughs> Harvesting on public property In some northern European countries such as Norway, a common use policy to non-wood forest products allows anyone to pick cloudberries on public property and eat them on location, but only local residents may transport them from that location and only ripe berries may be picked. Since 1970 in Norway, while it has been illegal to pick unripe cloudberries, transporting ripe cloudberries from the harvest location is permitted in many counties. <laughs>